Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Annalisa and I'm doing a, a pick a card reading here for Are They Attracted to Me? So um, this is just going to go in and just see, you know, with a bit of fun, what the kind of dynamic is going on for this person around you, how they feel for you and a little message for you. So um, I've got four piles for you to choose from and um, this is one, two, three, four. We have a bird, a bell, a shell, and a um, glitter pot. So, um, tune into what feels good for you. So, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this um, a bit attracted to you, and then depending on the uh, the outcome of the reading, I'm gonna do an extension over on Vimeo to look into the potential, like the future potential of this connection, if it looks like that's um, a possibility. So you can follow that below, um, or you can book a personal reading below as well if you're interested. So um, tune into what feels good. You might feel instantly drawn or magnetized to a particular number or pile or, or visual, um, or you might receive, you might hear the message. Uh, if you're struggling, then just take a few deep breaths and just clear your mind, allow your mind to go blank. And then just allow a, a number or an object to just float, just drift gently into your mind's eye or be whispered into your ear. Or you can slowly open your eyes and just allow your eyes to be drawn or magnetized to a particular object. So if you need a bit longer, just pause here, otherwise we'll get started. Okay, hi group number one. Let's see what we have for you regarding this person. Are they attracted to you? Okay, yes, essentially, yes. We've got she shall always prevail. This person is very magnetized towards you and whether they're male or female, it's like they have this instinct. I wanna say like this feminine instinct, this kind of intuition that this is what is meant for them. It is what they want. It is what they are moving towards and they, they completely believe they're gonna succeed. It's Isis and the Isis crystal. So this person is absolutely in this kind of strength and power of just knowing, okay? They just know that um, that they want to be with you. And with this red as well, it's like, it's all these colors here. We've got this red of this kind of passion, this desire. And then we have this spiritual kind of color, this purpley blue, this connection. And again, this white light. They feel divinely guided towards this connection, okay? For some of you, this may not be conscious. This person may not be 100% conscious of it. It might be this kind of, um, that spirit is really guiding them towards you and they're not fully aware of the, um, of why they're attracted or, or what's going on, but they have this just knowing that um, they are being drawn towards you and that somehow it's gonna succeed, it's gonna work. Because we've got the fairies of the future. They're very much, um, got it set in the it's in the future you know it's in it's coming up it's um it's gonna happen and i feel some of you i do feel like this is unconscious because of the moon card we've got all major arcana card here with the moon the chariot and temperance so it's like there's these fears and these doubts these illumination and this truth that um that has come up for them so within their attraction, it's like they might have some fear of the attraction. They might be a little bit scared or they they don't fully know the truth. You know, there's these things that they maybe have uncertainty about. They don't really know about, but they've just got this magnetization, the chariot. It's like even though there's this uncertainty, they just want to move it forward. They just want to drive it forward and they want to... Um, 
they want to connect with you. And with the temperance card, it's like this balance, it's this desire for harmony and peace. So in terms of the attraction, it's like there's this very strong sexual attraction, but there's also this harmony they feel, but there's also this fear. They're all very intense feelings. So it's like there's this real intensity and this kind of... Um, it's like just this pull and this draw that, that's kind of scary and kind of unknown, but they they have this um, really powerful, very powerful draw towards you. With I am sorry, I feel like this person may, um, this person may have walked away from you or rejected you um, or done something to, obviously they've done something to, that they feel has caused you harm or cause pain to you and they, they didn't want that that wasn't the intention that wasn't the um the meaning um or they 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 realize now that that they realize the pain that it that it caused and they want you to know that they they are they're sorry they they feel <clears throat> they felt the guilt they felt the shame and they're asking for for forgiveness from you i do feel like there is this unconscious with the moon as well. It feels like part of this could be an unconscious process for some people. It's like they, they're they still going through this. They're still understanding this. They're still coming to this realization and they don't, um, they don't fully, um, get why, why, why those feelings are going on. They don't fully understand it. So I think I'm repeating myself a little bit, but that essentially is the feeling. There is this magnetism, there is this drive, and there is this desire for, for peace and harmony. And I think they feel like you bring balance to them. And I think this could be the fear as well. All of these cards have some kind of um, representation of polarity with the temperance. It's the two cups, the one for in, one for out. It's all about balance. The chariot is about moving forward with differences. And you can see in the moon, the um, the fish in the moon here is like these opposites. And I feel like this person feels that you bring balance to them, that you bring harmony to them, but they're kind of scared of that. It's like um, it's like this opposite. When when you're kind of brought into balance by someone, and it brings up, it like it brings up the shadow. I feel like you you are able to bring up the the hidden darker aspects of them which is very difficult to face um but it's like they want to face it they want to they want to look at it but it's difficult and it's challenging and so there's there is this kind of fear um it's like fear and desire all mixed together and it's very powerful and very intense and there is this spiritual connection as well with with temperance and the isis crystal it's like um this, um, this purity that wants to come in, this purification process that wants to come in with this, with this connection, with this attraction. I think there's some, some doubt and uncertainty about how to move forward. It's like they, they want to, um, but there is this doubt. And I think it's, um, it feels kind of, ungrounded it's like there's how where to step where to stand where to where to be solid um they they might feel very caught up in their mind and in their emotion i feel like there's a lot of emotion and they they don't really know what what steps to take how to practically create something and i feel like they you know they they may have this shame or this guilt and this worry about revealing truth about themselves, re re revealing the um, the uh, re revealing and embracing the, the the pain of what they've done the, um, or what they've said that they want to apologize for. They feel like there's like you know this part of them that's that's a monster or that's um that's bad you know and. And I think they see you as someone who's very pure and someone who's very bright and light and um, uh, and maybe spiritual. And they might feel like the, um, the 
you know, the the dark one, the shadow one, the, the negative aspect, and they they have this fear around it, but they, they want to step into the light, like they want you to help balance them. Okay, um, that's everything I'm getting for you, group number one. Um, if you want to see what the potential of this relationship, where this could go forward, then please follow the Vimeo link below. Um, generally, you know, I feel like this person wants to um, wants to create harmony, wants to create peace, and wants to uh, have this have a kind of brighter future. You know, they they want to create this um, this harmonious harmonious connection harmonious relationship okay so some mixed stuff i think really mixed stuff going on here um but thank you for tuning in please like subscribe if you want to see more from me and um otherwise i look forward to uh hopefully speaking to you another time or in a private private reading Hi, group number two. Let's see, is this person attracted to you? Well, okay. Hmm, I would say yes. Quite clearly, this person is definitely very attracted to you. Um, we have, we've got from word to word and take in the self. This um, this person, I feel there's there's a lot. They might be um, the kind of person who chats a lot, like a lot of talking, a lot of a lot of there's a lot of words, there's a lot of um, uh, chat and talk, and there may even be a kind of um, like uh, like a little bit like um, what's the word like uh, gossipy. Like a rabbit, like a very quick, like very, very quick speaking thing here, thing here, like speaking to someone, speaking to someone. I feel like this person is, is a real chatter, like chatterbox is what I want to say. Um, and they, they're, if they're not actually speaking to you, it's like they're speaking to other people and they're really kind of um, trying to express and trying to find their voice and trying to find a way to, to speak and to share what they, they want to say because they're they're kind of in this bubbly, like I'm literally like shaking as I want to say this. It's like they're kind of shaking a little bit with excitement and with the desire to express. We've got, because we've got with it, this really intense energy. It's just like, um, oh, it's like lemonade, you know, it's like bubbling. It's just like fizzing and bubbling. And it's kind of like, oh, um, shaky kind of feeling. Um, this person might be quite anxious, like have anxiety or have um, uh, just a, a very um, like fragile nature in a sense, like very kind of bubbly air, kind of um, tingliness about them. <laughs> um, that's what I want to say. They're, we've got the King of Pentacles, the Lovers, the Two of Cups. Um, this person sees you or sees the connection as very grounded, as very solid, as um, they want to be your king or they see you as the king, someone who is um, absolutely able to take care of them. It's, it's, um, it's like a very safe, um, protected, grounded connection they feel with you. With the lover's card, um, they, they absolutely think you are um, feel you are destined and with the two of cups this destined this choice that they want to make they love you um there's something funny going on here there's i want a future with you okay i want a future with you um i'm feeling kind of a little bit crazy with this reading almost it's like so intense um I almost want to say a little bit desperate. This person so intensely wants you that they're, they're kind of desperate for you. Um, they're attracted to you. They're like sexually. They they feel like safe with you. It's so um. 
it's a very, very, very intense feelings they have, but I feel they themselves are a bit ungrounded. I feel they're a bit kind of um, all over the place with it. And maybe they, I think they see you as someone who's able to ground them. You are someone who is quite um, nurturing and loving and, and uh, earthy and um, present, practical. And they see you as, as someone who kind of brings that to them because it's such an intense feeling. It's such an intense feeling. Um, and I feel it like, flut you know, it's like this kind of fluttery, like heart feeling. I feel this person is a bit anxious about their connection with you. <clears throat> I feel like they may, they may be, they're worried that there isn't a future with you. Um, and they, um, but they really want you to know, they're like, I want you, like, I want you, <laughs> really seriously, really seriously, this person um, very strongly is attracted to you. Hmm. With, um, with the word to word one, there's something around communication for this. I don't know if this person is able to express this to you. I don't think they're quite, they don't quite, quite feel able to say um, exactly how, what's going on for them and how they feel. It's like, yeah, my throat's getting really like caught. It's like, it's like it gets caught in their mouth that they, they want to express it, but they don't know how. And they're, they're kind of desperately trying to figure out how they're going to do it. And I think they feel, um, it's like, it's like it started, um, maybe this connection with you didn't start in a very, uh, strong way, but it's like, it's really grown. Like it started off as just being kind of a bit of fun or like, a flirt, a kind of playful feeling. And it's just, it's spiraled with this. I'm just feeling this spiraling sense that it's kind of become this kind of whirlwind for them where it was just like, mm, this is a bit of fun. This is playful. And it's just got stronger and stronger. And they're like now caught in this kind of whirlwind of like a feeling that they, they're, they're getting a bit dizzy. I, this is what I, I'm feeling kind of a bit dizzy with this, um, with this reading. Um, and the, you know, they might be a bit of a mind spin. It might be they're expressing very mixed things to you because they're they're kind of, you know, they're in their head a little bit all over the place, um, and they they may be kind of um, trying to play games a little bit with you, like kind of, you know, they they really want to keep you in, enticed and and attracted and it might be that they kind of playing hard to get or they're like there and then they're not there it's this all over the place backwards and forwards you kind of thing but underneath it all is this real intense feeling for you okay group number two i'm gonna leave it there i'm gonna do this extension over on vimeo to see what the potential of this relationship is where it could go um so if you want to see that then you can follow the links below um or you can book a personal reading with me or check out some of my other videos. So please remember to like and subscribe to my channel and uh, thank you for tuning in. <clears throat> Hi group number three. So let's see, is this person attracted to you? Okay. Mm, okay. <sighs> yes. Okay. This person, um, we have their message from their message, the message from them for you. I have hope, and we also have the star card. Okay. It's this. Um, they see you as this light, as this star in the dark. They see you as someone who, um, really shines and glows to them. It's like you stand out. Okay. You stand out. You're. In, in a kind of um, myriad of people, it's like there's just this glow 
that they are just uh, magnetized by and drawn to and it can almost feel like a um, just just like a, I, I'm just getting the image of you know the kings following the star it's like the star glowing and they just want to follow it like follow that star and they have this they really have this hope for you they um they feel you bring them a lot of joy that you um make them feel happy that you you fill their cup okay we've we've got such a nice balance of energies here within these cards because we've got the cups and this joyful loving and quite sensual quite sexual connection here and i love this this card actually in this particular deck three of cups has a very specific meaning for me in this deck it's about this connection that is so close and so um supportive but also um healthy boundary because you see they're really connected to one another but they're in their they're kind of looking in their own direction and um it's like they're supporting each other but they're they're kind of got their own direction too and i feel like um it's such a, a healthy um representation of a relationship this particular one more so than some of the typical um romance cards in the tarot because it it's like this independence healthy um healthy boundaries but with these cups being filled and the three of cups represents joy it represents celebration and happiness um, and connection with friends as well it's very much about a friend connection so i really love this in a romance reading so I feel like there's all of that um, they feel with you and also the six of pentacles, which is a very grounded feeling. So it's like there's the emotion, there's the hope and then there's this grounded connection where they feel like the potential for a very solid foundation and base is also available. And there is this sensuality with the, um, the lady and the bodies here. You can feel they're very um, expressive and, you know, the, the nudity, the sensuality, it's like... Um, this seduction so they feel you're very seductive and they feel um, also with this uh, the pink with the flamingo just this nurturing I want to say this sweetness this um, uh, this real love like a, a real blossoming like heart blossoming potential or or potential with you I want to say potential because it's the the hope and the star it's like they feel like there's a potential light for this we have um, both Arvel Parrot and Authentic Voice. Both of these are about communication, okay? So there is something about communication and you see he's pointing to his throat. I feel like there is a, a block in communication that this person wants to express. They want to authentically express exactly how they feel and say all of this to you, but it's like they're blocked. It's like they can't um, and it's held back and um, they can't express their desire, but they they feel um, they I'm, I'm feeling like a real um, depth depth of feeling, you know, a real deepness of a, a very moving connection. It feels like um, moving and significant to them, but there is it's like. Um, they can't say it, they can't express it. Okay, and I also want to say that they, um, with the, the yellows, there's like this joy, there's this um, joy, this spread of joy, like I think you bring them some happiness, like you make them feel, feel just, just happy, just cheerful, um, that you make them you might make them kind of laugh. It's not in like a real like um, riotous way. It's just like this sense of like joy and happiness that wants to emerge and wants to grow. And also you see with this guy standing on this um, like edge, this cliff edge with this like holding these, it's like this celebration, this success. And with the moon, it's like overcoming fear, overcoming uncertainty. So I feel like this person really... Um, they do want to connect with you. They want to, they want to communicate with you. They want to express this to you, um, and they feel um, a very, yeah, this very beautiful, deep connection. Okay, um, so if you want to see the potential of this relationship, I'm going to do this extended reading over on Vimeo. Otherwise, thank you so much for tuning in. 
um and uh, i hope there's some like you know there's an open opening to communication with this person and um please remember to like subscribe to my channel or you can book me for a, a personal reading and i will um, look into something for you okay thank you so much and uh, i'll speak to you again soon group number four let's see is this person attracted to you oh okay <clears throat> this person I feel has been in hiding with the pook and the hermit I feel like their feelings have been uncertain. They've been moving around. There's been um, like backwards and forwards thinking and it's like their whole connection with you. It's like being going through this transformation of understanding where they're, they're trying to figure out what, what their connection with you and, and how they feel um, about you. And they've needed to go into this hermit space because um, they've, they've been reflecting on the past. They've been um, processing um, understanding they've been processing what's been been happening uh in your connection so they um there's like there's painful things i think they've been reflecting on and their behavior their thoughts what what really was happening about them and they've been caught between this past and looking back at these these pains or the difficulties and the challenges and moving forward into the future and so they've had to have this time out, this this um, uh, this time to reflect and to allow this kind of mix of feelings. They've needed to allow for all the uncertainties and the arguments, you know, the kind of backwards and forwards discussions in their mind. It's like they've needed time for that. But what's amazing is the pook is also about re uh, resolution, okay, and coming to resolution. And what we've got is grace for the grand gesture and the judgment card. They're going to come into a kind of awakening. They're going to be woken up and realize what this connection is and how much they mean to you. And they're going to make this gesture. And we have this message, can we try again? Okay, they're going to come forward. I really feel very strongly for this group. They're going to come forward. They're going to make this big gesture to you. They want to declare to you. They want to say something to you. They're going to come forward and say, I want to try again. I don't know when this is, but um, but I feel really strongly that's what they want to do. In terms of their, their real attraction to you, that's the message that wants to come through. You know, I asked the big question, like, are they attracted? This, this is the story that's coming through. In terms of the attraction, so it is like this, um, I feel like there is this beauty. They feel this beauty with you like this kind of gracefulness. I think they see you as someone who's very pure and light and graceful and sweet. But then there's also been this, this pain of the connection. And they, they, if they're not feeling it now, it's like they're gonna erupt, right? They're gonna, they're gonna erupt, they're gonna rise, they're gonna, um, it's, it's gonna just like, for, like be force them open there's going to be some kind of I feel like a quite a dramatic awakening event um where they are just like overwhelmed by the their desire and their attraction it's so intense and and they are going to realize that these things can be resolved that this past and these hurts are able to be um smoothed out and resolved and they're going to come forward and it's going to be healing, okay? When they come forward, it might not be. Um, uh, it, it could be anything, okay? I just want to say, be really open when this person comes forward, and be open to whatever it is because I feel like it's going to be about healing. So there may be, um, it may be they don't come forward with a huge love offer, but they come forward wanting to resolve things, wanting to heal things. They want to reach out, and it may it may appear to you like a small gesture. For you, it may feel like a small thing, like 
you know, you, you were hoping for them to kind of be like, I love you, and blah, blah, blah. But it, it might not be like that. It might be something that feels quite small or, or not so clear or a bit, um, uh, it may be a bit like, um, is that it? You know, you might feel a little bit like that, a bit disappointed even. But for them, okay, for them, it's huge. For them, it's an absolute momentous moment of being able to do this and say this, whatever this is. It may be they've never been able to do this before. They've never gone into this space before. So it's an absolute huge experience for them. And so um, I'm kind of going into this potential, but I do feel like they're going to come forward and that that you're going to need to maybe hold them a little bit or, or allow for some space because they, they are kind of coming out of this um, realisation and, and it might be quite new and quite fresh and they're not quite sure exactly how they want to express things but essentially the message is going to be I want to try again okay that's that's what is at the core of their of their feeling okay so um so group number three group number four I'm gonna continue this on Vimeo I'm gonna do an extension and see the the kind of um the potential of this connection where it's going to go uh, and a bit more detail of what what's um, what could be coming up for you with this. So if you're interested, follow that. Otherwise, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was useful. Please like my video, subscribe to my channel, and press the bell button if you want to get notifications. Or you can book a personal reading with me, and I will answer whatever question you want answered. Okay. Thank you.